When humans want to alert each other about something dangerous, we use bright clashing colors that we quickly notice and react to. These brightly colored traffic cones alert drivers to a dangerous pothole. Nature does this too. You might have heard of the poison dart frog of Earth's rainforests. This small frog contains a deadly poison and uses its bright colors to warn others of this trait. The bright colors make the frog recognizable and help it to not be eaten. We know this happens on land, but what about the oceans? This is our friend Hypsilodorus fontandri, and they are a nudibranch, a species of sea slug that lives in the ocean. There are many nudibranchs, but our friend is a special species. We'll call him Frank. Here we have a sponge growing on a discarded piece of rope. This sponge has toxic chemicals called natural products that help it defend itself. But Frank the nudibranch loves to eat it. This is why he is special, because this is where Frank gains his toxins. This is Frank's digestive system. He uses a specialized structure called a radula that acts like a chainsaw to scrape away at his food. While the nudibranch is using its scraping device to eat the sponge, it is also eating the toxic chemicals. These chemicals go into the nudibranch's digestive system and are sequestered within its body, mainly in the rim of the mantle. Scientists are still unsure exactly how the nudibranch does this, but we know it can. Since Frank is now full of a delicious sponge meal, he is packed with the sponge's toxins. The nudibranch is unaffected by these toxins, but it stores them in its body. This means when a predator like this shrimp comes to taste Frank, they may get sick or die because of these toxins. In turn, predators start to recognize our nudibranch's bright colors. The toxins they ate last time deters them from eating our friend and his siblings. This makes survival much easier for our nudibranch and increases his evolutionary fitness.